Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered what it would be like to live on another planet? We often talk about Mars, but what about our other neighbor, Venus? It's often called Earth's twin sister because of its similar size and mass. So, could we pack our bags and move there? First off, how long would the journey take? Well, with our current technology, a trip to Venus would take about three to four months. That's actually a bit shorter than a trip to Mars. Sounds manageable, right? But hold on, because arriving at Venus is where the real challenge begins. You see, while Venus might be our twin in size, it's definitely not our twin in climate. The moment you step outside, you'd be met with a surface temperature of around 465 degrees Celsius, or 870 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. So, a bit toasty is a massive understatement. The atmospheric pressure is also about 92 times greater than Earth's. It would feel like being a kilometer deep in the ocean. You'd be crushed instantly without some seriously advanced technology. The air itself is another problem. It's almost entirely carbon dioxide, with thick clouds of sulfuric acid. That's right, acid rain is a permanent weather feature on Venus. So, breathing the air is a definite no-go. We'd need to live in completely sealed, heavily fortified habitats that could withstand the crushing pressure, extreme heat, and corrosive atmosphere. So, is there any life on Venus? Based on everything we know about the harsh surface conditions, life as we know it is extremely unlikely on the ground. However, some scientists have a fascinating idea. About 50 kilometers up in the atmosphere, the temperature and pressure are surprisingly similar to Earth's. There's a theory that microbial life could potentially exist, floating in the clouds. It's a long shot, but it's an exciting possibility that scientists are eager to investigate. In conclusion, living on the surface of Venus is pure science fiction for now. The conditions are just too extreme. We'd need incredible technological leaps to even survive for a moment. But perhaps one day, we could build floating cloud cities high above the scorching plains. What an incredible sight that would be. What do you think? Would you ever want to visit a floating city on Venus? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey to our planetary neighbor, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more space adventures. Thanks for watching.